Welcome to episode 49 here with Staple Gun, and we're going to talk Halo, the complete series, including Halo, Halo 2, Halo ODST, and Halo 3. Uh, here you see some clips from some of Staple Gun's most famous uh, replays. This is one of my favorites. I had no clue. <laughs> no idea. Let's go. Uh, let's start off. Obviously, we're going to see clips from Halo 3. Let's start off with Halo 1. We're going to review the entire series, you know, the fastest and most thorough way possible. Halo 1 uh, basically was released on the X. Well, it was released on the Xbox. Basically, starts the the series, the, the you know, the jump to what Xbox is today. It's really been the uh, the flagship. For Xbox and its success, I feel anyways. I, I don't see That's, any other games until the recent success of Call of Duty. I don't see any other games that have been. Yeah, it's the only thing that's kept me on the Xbox. Otherwise, I probably would have switched to PS3 by right now. Yeah, and I think that's what a lot of people, you know, why they're exclusive because Call of Duty is on both systems. Yeah. But um, this isn't a comparison. I'm not starting a war with people because for some reason people who play Call of Duty can't play Halo. Halo people can't play Call. I don't know why the war is out there. It's like War of Good and Evil. There's no happy medium. But anyways, Halo. Obviously, the original trilogy is the story, the story of Master Chief and his um, journey, you know, to help the Spartans, you know, fight the Covenant. Um, Halo One. We have a gosh, I don't even know how long the campaign was. I'd say 12 hours on average, depending on what, how you play it, what level of difficulty you play it on. Um, and if you're looking for hidden skulls and all that, um, great campaign. It's obviously, like I said, it, it launched the series. It had, it didn't have Xbox Live though. Halo One did not. Halo One only had the split screen multiplayer, but that did not stop people from doing system links, doing projector TVs. I mean, everybody who has a Halo story will remember Halo One for getting together with friends and playing split screen. You know, I, I that's what I remember specifically. Do you remember doing Halo One? Uh, I remember that mo um, more with Halo 2. Um, Halo 2 getting together and doing it, that's when yeah. you got really into it? Yeah. Um, Halo 1, I mean, the, with Bungie, the graphics have not changed drastically much since the beginning of Halo. They've become smoother, they've become less choppy. Um, we've seen improvements with how characters, you know, respond to deaths. There's, there's more, you know, character movement. There's better weapons. But really, the, the core graphics engine have has not changed since the beginning, but um, let's talk Halo 2 now. That was the one that had Xbox Live. That's really what launched Xbox Live and its success in, what was it, 2005, 2004? It was about that time period. And uh, recently this year, you can no longer play Xbox One games online, which was kind of a sad story. So sorry, Halo 2 fans, you had to stop playing Halo 2 online. Although some people did stick it out for weeks. Yep, weeks after they <laughs> shut it down. If you were still connected to the server, you wouldn't get booted. It's when you disconnected. Um, so there were there was a small group of people still playing matches after they shut it down. Yeah. So that's dedication to a game. Uh, Halo 2 featured a split campaign where you would go as the Spartan Master Chief and then you would go as uh, the Arbiter from the Covenant, and it would go back and forth, the story of those two, and then obviously they come together in 3, um, which was a good segue to talk about 3, which you team up in that one if you're playing two-player co-op campaign, you play together, one is the Spartan, one is the Arbiter, and you play through, you know, fighting off the Flood, and, you know, basically not ending the war, but giving you on the, you know, pretty much stopping everything, but I mean... They don't really give you a good closure on it. A lot of fans were mad about the end of Halo 2, and then also with the end of Halo 3, there's no good closure on the war. I mean, they don't know what happened to Master Chief. There's just Yeah, there's an element of mystery. Yeah. Which then they released ODST, um, which to me was a borderline fail. The campaign was okay, had a decent story to it. Um, but they made you as, um, what is it, orbital drop shock troopers. Yep. And you have health, and you have to find health packs. I understand the point of it, but after playing years of having an overshield recharge. Yeah, it was a bit 
different, but at the it, same time, it makes sense. It right? makes sense, but it changes. You're the not way Master it, Chief yeah, anymore. You're it, not. It changes just the super way you play Halo. Spartan. Yeah. Um. But also made firefight really interesting. Yeah, firefight, which was a new mode they added, which. Um, they're bringing back Firefight 2.0 for Reach, which will be out within the next few weeks, September 14th to be exact. Uh, depending when you watch this video, it might be out already, it might not be. Um, but when we're doing this review right now, the game's not out yet, so we're not including that game in our review. Um, we can talk about the beta, but that was actually my first episode of Box News. So. Alright. Okay, sorry about the cut. We had technical difficulties with things. Um... We're back nervous. to where we left off was firefight mode. They're bringing it back for Reach and blah blah. blah. Um, not going to talk about Reach. I'll have a Reach review in a month or so, or however long it takes me to get through it. Um, let's talk about obviously the game that's most played, the most successful one, and the one that's still being played daily is Halo Three. I'm going to turn it over to Staple Gun now to give his in-depth thoughts as he is the expert on Halo Three. Um, Tell me why you play it, your thoughts on the story, the thoughts on online, like what has drawn you to the game and what keeps you playing it. Uh, what keeps me playing it is, I don't know, just a good variety of playlists that they have online. Uh, if you get sick of just killing people, then you know there's uh, different objectives that you can do, like capture the flag, um, or, you know, which is a clip I'm actually showing right now. Um, you know, something different than um, just killing. Um, other than that, you know, Bungie, they do have double experience weekends, which, uh, you know, it's an incentive for some people that, you know, are trying to get level 50s and be five-star generals. So. That's every single weekend. Yes, yeah, every single weekend it's something different, uh, different playlists that will, um, keep people playing, like Griff Ball. I'm personally not a big fan of Griff Ball just because of the amount of people that are now playing it. Um, oh, they found cheats. They found cheats. Yeah. I loved it when it came out, but now that there's cheats, it's, it's, yeah, it's not as fun as it used to be. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, it's fun when you get, you know, especially when you get meet uh, friends online, um, you know, people that I didn't know before that play it's Halo. definitely a huge community. That play quite a bit, you know, you know, a lot more than I do, and they, that's hard they know talk. all the callouts. <laughs> well, they know all the callouts and everything. Like you know, red four, like red. Then like uh, it's like a military operation of some of these people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, I'm, they I'm take like, it so serious. I was be like, you know, he's by the shotgun. They'll be like, red four. I'm like, uh, okay, sure. You know, but, there's clans out there that try to recruit you, and there's, I mean, there's, there's hardcore gamers out there that just play this game. It's, it's insane. Yeah, and I mean, there are a lot of people that are. Annoying, but I mean that's with any shooter. It's the like, Xbox Live game. Yeah, you're gonna deal with kids that shouldn't be playing it because they're yeah. underage, yeah. and more so with this game because of its commercial success. Yes. Now you're showing us clips here. This is one of the cool features of Halo 3. Um, basically, explain you know how to do a clip and what you can do with them. Uh, basically, when ever you uh, do anything online um, you can it'll, it'll record anything and everything that happens in the match you can see it from anyone's point it's of not view. just online it's any local or any type of match you play yeah any, any point any of campaign you can film too yeah any point of view you want to see from you can um, and then you know say you got a good kill or, or something like that then you can um, record it you can shoot it from different angles you can you know, do all kinds of things to make the clip, you know, look the way you want it to. Um, that's a nice feature. Um, you know, that happens a lot where you're playing with friends and they're like, okay, well, hold on, I gotta go back and save that because, you know, just got a really good kill or, you know, what, or, or, you know, if you die and you have no idea how it happened, one thing that's nice about this, you know, compared to like Call of Duty is you can go back and look and say, okay, well, that guy obviously sniped me, he was being cheap or, you know, yeah. whatever. Um, so it's not really a mystery as to why he died. So like that, I got sniped, but through Sticky as I was dying, and killed him, but he finished me. So it's kind of cool to see, you know. So like, it's almost like studying tapes if you're a football player of the other team's plays, and you're, I mean, obviously you're not playing the same people all the time, but you start to figure out strategies on certain maps, and it's, you know, it's beneficial sometimes to 
save a save a match or even just for bragging rights like when you own someone and you want to show it off like yeah there's so many things you can do with it yeah or i mean if you if i mean if there's anything like where you, you question something that happened you can always go back and look at it um or if there's something that you know you might find to improve your own game um like how a certain player captured a flag or you know what they did um you know, it's really beneficial to go back and look at that. Now, um, your thoughts on the campaign. Uh, you played through threes completely on uh, Legendary, right? Yep. Okay. Well, like, did you enjoy the campaign, or are you just more drawn to the, the online? No, I, I really like the campaign. Um, I like the variety of the enemies that you face um, the throughout it. Um, I mean, it would be kind of cool to have more, like, big boss type of characters, um, but, yeah. you know, but, I mean, that's never really been what Halo's been Halo's about. Been about. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, other than that, you know, have different weapons for those, you know, that would be uh, a nice feature, but other than that, I mean, it's, I really don't have any complaints about the campaign, it kind of left you with a, you know, hanging on at the end, you don't know yeah. what's going to happen, or what really did happen, but. You may never know. Yeah. You're still in reach, it's not about. And, you know, and hopefully you never know. I mean, I don't really want to see them keep making keep, this franchise. Yeah. And We're hoping to reach is the last one. Yeah, because, I mean, honestly, the improvements from 2 to 3 weren't very drastic. Significant, no. Uh, I mean, they're... Visually, they're good, obviously, because visual of hardware. Yeah, they worked out a few bugs as far as, like, you know, super jumps or things like that that you could do in Halo 2. Um, so, I mean, that is, you know, one thing that's nice, too. Now, obviously, we, we're not going to give any recommendations. This game has been out for, it'll be three years now, next month. Yep. So, if you haven't played Halo 3 or any of the Halo games yet, wh what are you doing? Like, Yeah, I mean, especially if you own an Xbox. Like, <laughs> yeah, what you, if you own an Xbox and you haven't played Halo, give it a try. Suck it up. I don't know why. If you hate it, why? I'm sorry. It's, I don't know. I, I, I'd be lost for words if you truly... I've never played it and never wanted to, but uh, I, I can't recommend it enough. It's an enjoyable experience. You can get Halo 3 or 2 or 1 for, heck, under 20 bucks for each one of them anywhere online or even in your local game stores. So pick it up. It's worth every penny. Um, definitely, you know, complete the series, get all the games, and then definitely recommend Reach September 14th, like I said. Don't want to get too much away on that, but you can find out about it if you search online. But, you know... Halo, thumbs up. I'd give it an A. Yeah, I mean, hopefully with Reach now, I mean, the improvements that they're making will give people what they want as far as new weapons, which they've already done. Um, you know, different upgrades. Yeah, just something yeah. different, some some new way of leveling up your character. There's there's so many new things that are coming in Reach, so yeah. definitely check it out. I, like I said, I can't I can't talk high enough about. It. Yeah, it seems like with the complaints that people have had about the first couple of games are working and getting corrected now, so you know, hopefully that will all work out and it's as good as people are hoping it's going to be. Well, I want to thank uh, Stable Gun for getting together with me and doing a review. Um, hope you enjoyed our thoughts, <coughs> excuse me, our thoughts on the Halo series. And uh, basically stay tuned. This is my last episode for a while, so stay tuned for more. Thank you again for watching. A new shout-out, Stable Gun. Say no. hi, hi, Mom. <laughs> no. Mom doesn't right. watch YouTube. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks again for watching.